Hello guys! Andito na naman ako para magbigay sa inyo ng kalaman tungkol sa math. Ang topic natin ngayon ay subtraction, multiplication, and division of fractions. Tara, simulan na natin! Number 1. 3 fifths minus 1 eighth. The first step is to find the LCD or the least common multiple or denominator. We know that the LCD of 5 and 8 is 40. Next, we convert the given fractions to similar fractions so that we will be able to find their difference. To convert them, we divide the LCD to the given denominator and multiply the quotient with the corresponding numerator. In the problem, 40 divided by 5 equals 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. 40 divided by 8 equals 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. Now we have similar fractions. We will just find the difference between these numerators. 24 minus 5 equals 19. The answer is already simplified. Therefore, the answer is 19 over 40. Number 2. 5 fifths minus 2 fifths. Because the given fractions are already similar, we will just find the difference between these numerators. 5 minus 2 equals 3. The answer is already simplified. Therefore, the final answer is 3 fifths. We will now go to multiplying fractions. 2 thirds times 3 fourths. In multiplying fractions, we will just multiply the numerators and the denominators. In this problem, 2 times 3 equals 6. So our numerator is 6. Now, multiply the denominators. 3 times 4 equals 12. The product is 6 over 12. However, the answer is not simplified. We must find their GCF, or the greatest common factor, which is 6. We will now divide the numerator and the denominator by 6. 6 divided by 6 equals 1. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Therefore, the simplified answer is 1 half. But there is also another way of multiplying fractions. It is by finding the GCF of the numerator of the multiplicand and the denominator of the multiplier. The same goes for the denominator of the multiplicand and the numerator of the multiplier. To understand this, we will answer again the problem. 2 thirds times 3 fourths. 2 and 4 have a GCF of 2. So we will divide each with 2. It becomes 1 and 2. Next, we will find the GCF of 3 and 3, which is 3. Divide both, so we will change them easily to 1 and 1. Then, we multiply the fraction. 1 times 1 equals 1. 1 times 2 equals 2. The answer is already simplified. Therefore, the answer is 1 half. 2 eighths times 2 fifths. Let's try the second method on this one. 2 and 5 do not have a GCF, so we will not change it. 8 and 2 has a GCF, and that is 2. So we will divide both of them by 2. 2 will be 1, 
and 8 will be 4. Now we will multiply the fractions. 2 times 1 equals 2. 4 times 5 equals 20. We can see that the product is not simplified. Let us divide the GCF of 2 and 20, which is 2. Therefore, the final answer will be 1 tenth. We will now go to division of fractions. 3 fourths divided by 1 half. In dividing fractions, we will find the reciprocal of the divisor or the second fraction. For example, the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3 over 2. And the reciprocal of 1 over 4 is 4. Then we will multiply them. The problem will be converted to 3 fourths times 2 over 1 or 3 fourths times 2. We can see that 2 and 4 can be changed into 1 and 2 by dividing their GCF, which is 2. Now, we will multiply 3 to 1. So the numerator is 3. Next, we multiply 2 to 1. So the denominator is 2. The fraction is simplified, but it is in improper form. We need to change this improper form to a mixed number. To convert it, we just divide the numerator by the denominator and the remainder will become the new numerator. In the problem, 3 divided by 2 equals 1, remainder 1. What will we do with the quotient? We will copy this to our fraction, so the answer will be 1 and 1 half. 5 eighths divided by 1 fourth. Because this is division of fractions, the second fraction or the divisor will be flipped. Or we will change this to its reciprocal. Then we will multiply them. 5 over 8 times 4 over 1. 5 and 1 cannot be changed because their GCF is 1. So if you divide them by 1, they will not change. 8 and 4 has a GCF of 4. So we can divide both of them by 4. And 8 will become 2 and 4 will become 1. Now we will multiply... 5 over 2 times 1. The answer is an improper fraction. We will convert it to a mixed number. 5 divided by 2 is remainder 1. Therefore, the answer will become 2 and 1 half. Shoutout po sa aking kaklase na si Mira Deza. Please subscribe for more educational videos and song covers. Bye!